So the backstory is, and this is something I've never haven't told anybody before. Last year at Payne's Valley, I was with Jack Nicholas and, and Gary Player for the opening of this Tigers um, course up there in Branton, Missouri. And Gary and I started, we were, me and Gary and Jack were talking about the Masters and stuff. And Gary brought it up. He was like, you know what we need to do? We need to have Lee Elder be out there and, and be with us and hit that ceremonial first shot wow. too, because it'd be the right thing to do for golf. And don't you know, then probably six months later, there's an announcement comes down that Lee Elder is going to be out there for that ceremonial first shot. And why that matters is the masters for a long time had rules in place to kind of make sure. And even one of the guys who ran this place said for as long as he was in charge, the players were going to be white and the caddies were going to be black. Right. And in 1974, the masters made a rule that if you won a tournament that got you into the masters, well, Lee elder won a tournament in 1974 which got him into the Masters in 1975, which is why I got this hat on. Oh, wow. So Lee Elder today on the first tee, there were all a bunch of these hats out there. And it was Steph Curry and his company that made these hats. And so you're going to see a bunch of NBA guys run out onto the court tonight wearing these hats. And this is the saying from Lee Elder. Stay, Stay the, the course, course. Yeah. is what it says. And what that means, and, and it's still very true today, is that we ain't there yet when it comes to golf being completely open and embracing to everyone. We're not there yet, but stay the course. Slowly but surely, it's happening. So the fact that Lee Elder was on that first tee with Jack Nicholas and Gary Player for that ceremonial first shot, it mattered a lot. And this is how far Augusta National and the Masters has come. The Masters and Augusta National actually have funded the golf program at Payne College here in Augusta, an HBCU. They have Lee Elder in his name, a scholarship for a man, a man and a woman yeah. for that golf team. Payne College doesn't even have a women's golf team yet. They've never had one. So they actually are, and Augusta is paying for it. So they're going to have a women's golf team and then someone's going to go to college for free under Lee Elder's name from Augusta and the Masters. So I know there are a lot of people out there and I've, you know, had this conversation with people a lot about, you know, oh, it took them so long and why are they waiting? And they have, they do everything slow. And I, you know, my response is always this, there's never a wrong time to do the right thing. Yeah. And if you're doing the right thing and going in the right direction, God bless you. And, and it's now it's our job to not be grumpy and sit there with our arms crossed all pissy and be like, yeah, now, you, you know, now it's our job to be like, okay, cool. What else are we doing? Let's go. Let's yeah. keep going. Let's keep going. And so that's why I love the fact that, that Lee has that saying stay the course on the side of the hat. But um, it was for legacy wise and history wise, what, what happened this morning um, on that first tee to start the 2021 masters off was there aren't many, how many, opportunities do we have to be standing somewhere when a goosebump moment happens and i got to stand there as a goosebump moment happened it was pretty awesome and with your perspective i would imagine it's pretty powerful with everything you've seen and lived and and been i you know i think what's really cool is you do a great job of i mean not only is it really important to me as somebody who's watching and you know i think golf's cool and i want it to grow and i think like obviously you want everybody to have an opportunity but you know, when people are watching ESPN, they see your face talking about golf. I think that's super cool, and I yeah. and I think like you probably don't want to toot your own horn, but your personality, your charisma, and then also you're being like, look at me. I, I I love I love this game, and and you know, the more the merrier. Let's 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 get everybody a chance to play, and and it's a great game. Yeah, that's one of the things that I love that ESPN has given me this opportunity, you know, and that they trusted me enough. Um, to put me on TV and give me my own show, you know, America's Caddy on ESPN Plus and, you know, that I was doing stuff on ESPN.com for a while. It's, it's, it's important that people see someone who looks like me and sounds like me that they never saw doing this before so that other people can go, oh, wait, I can do that job? Like, I didn't even know that that job was available for me to do because I've never seen anybody that talks a little bit different and, you know, looks at golf a little bit different and then looks like him. So 
But, you know, it's also proof positive. I think ESPN was like, well, we got to put some ugly fat dude on TV. <laughs> hey, yo, get Mike. 